Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, I'm going to be answering a question that I get asked very frequently. Do I need to be certified to become a bookkeeper? The answer and more coming up. Oh, and I'm excited to let you guys know that this video is a collaboration video that I'm doing with a fellow bookkeeper and YouTuber, Miss Morgan Law. Mrs. Mrs. Morgan Law. Ms. Morgan Law. Sorry, Morgan, not sure what, which one is which. But anyway, since this topic has so many points um, to mention and to go over, uh, she and I teamed up kind of to do our videos together so that together you just get all this information. So we kind of halved uh, the topic subjects and um, you can visit her video in the link in the descriptions below as well as in the pop-up right there. If this is our first time meeting, or if you've known me from other videos, what's up? How's it going? I am Cece Crosley. I am a freelance bookkeeper, and I have been doing accounting for about 15 years now. I'm a mom, I'm a wife, and I still hold down my day job. And I get this question a lot, why do I still hold down my day job? It's because that's what works for me. I love, love the company I work for, and it allows me to have the freedom to work from home and be a freelance bookkeeper. So I'm just stacking cash, guys. I like to have a successful side business because hopefully later down the road, you know, my husband and I, we can travel and I can do this um, on the road. But in the meantime, I have this uh, channel here, Bookkeeper Bootcamp, to teach others to supply tips and resources for people who are looking to work from home as a freelance bookkeeper or who are already bookkeepers and you just need some, you know, maybe some resources or maybe just some tips. And I just share my experience, guys. So I appreciate you being here and um, I hope that this video is very, very helpful. Now, the short answer to the question is no. You don't need to be certified to be a bookkeeper. Now, that's not to say you shouldn't get certified because that's completely up to you. There are two major online schools to consider if uh, you wanna become a certified public bookkeeper. And those are the three little letters you get to put at the end of your signature, CPB, just like a CPA, that you get once you become certified. Um, and I mentioned the online schools because you can also go through traditional schooling, um, college and university and such to get your same certification. But the online schools that Morgan and I will be talking about, the first one uh, Morgan will be covering, it's AIPB, American Institute of Public Bookkeepers. And then the one I'm going to be covering today is the NACPB. Yeah, I know it's a whole lot of letters, but it's a National Association of Certified Public Bookkeepers. Ugh, say that 10 times fast. <laughs> um, so if you choose not to get certified as a bookkeeper, I would recommend that you um, at least get software certified. And what I mean by that is becoming an expert in the commonly used um, accounting softwares like QuickBooks Online and Xero. Xero with the X, not a Z. So X-E-R-O. And going through their programs to certify yourself with their particular um, software. So I will be covering Xero and I'll be covering AC. NACPB in my video and you can always jump over to Morgan's video and she'll be covering QuickBooks Online and the AIPB. So let's get into um, a little more detail on uh, the NACPB and Zero. The NACPB uh, has two two different paths that they offer to get your bookkeeping license or your certification. Uh, the first one being their education path. And what they mean by that is if you already uh, have your bookkeeper certification, uh, an associate's, or your bachelor's degree in accounting, you can take this path. The second path would be their work experience path that requires you to have um, work experience prior to taking their course, and I believe it's about 4,000 hours of um, work keeping experience or um, the equivalent of like two years. And um, those are the two different paths that obviously have uh, the two different uh, requirements. 
they even have a free practice exam that you can take without officially signing up for their course. Completely free, guys. You just need to um, go to that section, give them your name and your email address, and you have access right then and there to take one of their practice exams if you want to get a feel for what their course might be like. Um, I definitely recommend that you check them out. Now, if um, you have either your social, uh, associate's or bachelor's degree uh, in accounting or and you have your minimum of uh, the two years or the four thousand work hours that is needed, um, I would definitely suggest doing the NACPB. Uh, but if you don't have any experience, and I'm talking zero experience, go with the AIPB. Uh, Morgan will have more information and details in her video about the AIPB, so definitely go check her out. And um, if uh, you are looking to do the uh, course with the NACPB, I believe their pricing uh, scale runs anywhere from about $1,600 to $2,000. And I think it just, um, it ranges from there depending on what you want to do and the courses you want to take and if you want to be one of their members or not, because I do believe that you get um, a fairly nice discount if you do become one of their members. So just keep that in mind. Now let's talk about software certification. As I mentioned before, uh, the accounting software Xero, spelled with an X, is an alternative to QuickBooks. Um, Xero was founded in New Zealand in about 2006, and uh, they're the next competitor um, up there with QuickBooks, in my opinion. Um, I know that, quote, Forbes identified Xero as the world's most innovative growth company in 2014 and 15. I got that straight from their site. So let's hope that that is right. Uh, but I do use this software myself personally, and I really, really do enjoy it. Um, here's why I like Xero and why I think that um, getting your certification in Xero is definitely beneficial for you. You can, it, it just, not to say that you can't do Xero and QuickBooks, but QuickBooks is being covered by Ms. Morgan, so go ahead and visit her channel for that. But with um, Xero, I'd like to get into the details about why I like their software so much. Uh, they are a cloud-based software, number one, um, and that means that anywhere you can get internet, you can access your um, your your portal to uh, Xero. So you're, you can access your partner account is what they call it. So that means that you can work from anywhere, home, um, cruise ship, uh, airplane, airport, wherever. You just need internet. Uh, the second is when you sign up as a partner, you get paired up with a real life person um, who will support you in, I mean, so many things. Uh, shout out to Ben Glick. He is my support guru out here uh, in Phoenix. He is the senior accounting manager in Phoenix and he is my personal go-to person. I can I can get on the phone and call Ben. In fact, he calls me just to check up on me. But I call Ben to help me with uh, troubleshooting anything with the software, like uh, converting some of my clients' QuickBooks information over or um, I'm just maybe stuck on something and it could be simple or complex. Ben is there to help me. In fact, I have met Ben personally at one of his meetups that he held here in Phoenix. So shout out to Ben. Ben, keep doing you, boo. But I really, really enjoy that about teaming up with Zero. They really take care of their partners. And um, being that they do that, they give you, uh, the bookkeeper, the support, the one-on-one -on -one support that I don't think that QuickBooks offers. So that is a, a really big advantage that I enjoy a lot. Um, uh, this other point, number three, is a really big uh, selling point for me. And um, my clients and I were able to leave each other notes um, when I'm trying to reconcile their bank statements in the transaction line. Um, there's a little section in the lines, right? This is um, the section for, let's say, their bank their bank statement feed and then this one's the zero feed and you know you need to reconcile them so there's a little section uh, in in the bank reconciliation feed where I can leave my clients a note and they can do the same they can say 
hey, this charge was for XYZ expense. Or I can ask, hey, what is this expense for? And we don't have to go back and forth with uh, emails and screenshots. You know, they can keep it right there in the cloud. That was a huge selling point for me, communication. I really enjoy that. I use that to, as a selling point uh, for my clients because I need them to purchase zero. It's completely free for us bookkeepers, but uh, for your client, you're able to have them purchase zero, just like with QuickBooks, and you're the bookkeeper, the accountant, that's able to access their account without having to fully, you know, you don't have to own their account. However, uh, when you do have your clients and when you're partnered with your um, support guru, for lack of better terms, uh, you are provided with like promos and new um, new discounts and coupons that you can offer your clients and your customers so that everyone's happy. You're saving money, they're saving money, and Zero is just a beautiful app. Number four would be that you can practically do anything in Zero that you can do in QuickBooks. Practically everything, guys, and they're very competitive when it comes to uh, their pricing, so you're not really losing anything. They, you know, give and take uh, a few different software interfaces. Things might be just a tiny bit different, but you can still do practically the same stuff. So that's that for me is a really big win on top of the other things. Uh, number five would be that if your client is currently using QuickBooks, as mentioned, you can easily convert them over to zero. And if you need help, you just reach out to your person like I do and Ben helps me. So that is just, it's simple, it's easy. And I have someone to actually reach out to as again mentioned. I don't think that QuickBooks has that kind of program to offer just yet, right? Um, and then six would be it's completely free for us partners to sign up and get our accounts going. They even have a demo company that you can use to practice on their software so that you don't have to do it on your own books which uh, they give you um, they give you your own company books so you know you can keep track of your own transactions for your bookkeeping company or your own personal stuff and you don't have to mess with your personal um, profile you can use their demo company profile that way you can practice and they have little video clips that walk you through I mean it's a very, very user-friendly um, software. So Zero is just one of my favorites and obviously why I definitely wanted to be the one to talk about them. Now, whether you choose to get certified uh, or not, be it a certified public bookkeeper or software uh, certification, it's completely up to you. And the bottom line is that you do not need to be certified to do bookkeeping. Um, but if you do choose not to be certified to do bookkeeping, I would recommend that you are diligent um, in doing your own self-study. You uh, want to make sure that you know you are uh, upkept with the um, with the gap general accepted accounting principles and as well as accounting ethics because that's really important guys um that's you know it's worldwide it's universal so you can definitely do these um self studies by yourself and i think that there might be a couple more free websites with information that you could do but ultimately yeah like keep yourself up to date on on your you know on your study of field accounting and bookkeeping they're the same thing. Bookkeeping is just a step before your accounting gets to it. If you're really, really good, and I know many really, really good uh, bookkeepers out there that don't have any kind of certification. Uh, they started with no experience and now they do have experience. So it does take a little bit of effort if you don't have the experience and you don't have the certification background. If you don't have any of that, you might be working up the hill just a little bit slower. Maybe it might be just a little bit harder. But really, I believe that only you can determine your outcome, right? How much effort are you going to put towards it? I never say that no one can do anything. Never say never, right? You can accomplish what you want to accomplish and what you set your goals to because ultimately it comes down to how much value you're providing for your client and what expectations they need you to meet. So each client is different. Each bookkeeper is different. 
Well, I hope that you guys found this video informative. And if you liked it, hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. If you already are subscribed, hit that little bell icon and uh, that'll notify you for when I post uh, my new videos, which I will hopefully be doing more frequently, you know, balancing life, uh, work life with taking care of my clients and taking care of myself, of course, so I can take care of my family and show up for everybody. It's all about balance. Um, so I definitely wish you guys well, and especially with balancing your own lives, I definitely give you my best wishes um, because anyone can do it if you could set your mind to it. If I can do it, you can do it, and if other people can do it, I can do it, and we're all going to share that love, right? So if you have any questions that you'd like me to cover in another video, leave me a comment down below and I will hopefully cover that. Um, and I'd also like to thank Morgan Law so much for reaching out to me and coming up with this really awesome collaboration video. Guys, this was completely and fully her idea. So thanks again, Morgan, um, because I fully believe in collaboration over competition. And this is what I mean. It's all about the love. So go support Morgan on her channel, subscribe to her and check out the video that complements this video. Um, got the links all over the place, especially in the descriptions. And until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.